Hi everybody, I'm, uh, I'm back here. I realized in the uh, first video I forgot to uh, give a little demonstration here on how to adjust the tension on the joystick. Uh, this comes in the box. You can see it's a uh, SciTech Pro Flight Combat Series it says here. It's got a little picture of a spring, but you open it up and it has uh, all the different springs that come with it. The smaller ones would be the least amount of tension. The bigger ones, obviously, more tension. It's going to put a little more tension on the joystick. Um, they are marked by color. Um, it's yellow is the middle to last, I believe. Um, red would be the least amount. Green would be the highest amount. And uh, I went ahead and unplugged it. I'll show you how to change that out. It's actually fairly easy. You just get your fingers under here on this ring, this little knurled ring here, and you can spin it. You can hear it click. Hold onto the joystick, comes right off. You can see the uh, connectors here, little push pins, they're spring loaded. Put that aside. Next thing you got this collar here on the outside. You gotta pop that off. Comes off fairly easy, just give it a little pop with your fingertips here and it comes right off. See, it has almost like a keyway on the back side here. Put that aside. So, what you're gonna wanna do is split these two pieces here oh, how close I can get the camera basically you push down just a little bit on the spring with your other finger and you take the collar off hold the spring down take the other collar off and you can go ahead and remove the spring um, like I said I think I have the yeah second to least amount kinda right in the middle um, I don't know if you can see the spring heights here this is the one I've been using underneath my thumb here, the yellow one. Um, you can feel this now, there's absolutely no tension whatsoever. So if you're a helicopter pilot, um, you can put the collars back on here and then remount your joystick and you literally have absolutely no support. You could use this as your cyclic um, or whatever, but it will flop around. That's very good for helicopter pilots um, if you're a helicopter simmer really nice I don't do enough of that to worry so we'll leave it we'll leave it as is for now so you want to put it back together there's a collar right here on the piece you can see it where my finger is there's also a groove that goes along the inside of this you put your spring on push it down just a little bit and you take your collar piece make sure the collar slides into this um, indent on the side of the post here it's kind of hard to do while maintaining the ability to see on camera here. So you just do both sides, slide it right in there. Gently release the tension on the spring. You can go ahead and take your collar. You can line it up on the little keyways here, the little teeth. Make sure each one has a place. Just give it a push down. Feel it click into place. I always make sure I give it a little wiggle, make sure it ain't going to come off on me. And you can take your joystick. You'll feel it just give it a little wiggle you'll feel it set down once it sets down just start rotating that collar you'll hear it clicking and I don't crank it down too much I just wait till I hear it click stop and about another quarter turn or so right back to where we should be so it works pretty good it's still it's so smooth it really is but you still have all your control so there's how to uh, change the tension on the joystick so once again, great pieces of equipment. I'm really, really impressed. So uh, thanks for watching.